Okay, very busy skeletons. Today we're having a look at a couple of different glues that we got sent from Starbond. Uh, we've got a medium, medium thick and black, and a thick compound, and also a can of the accelerator. Now, the one we're going to actually mainly look at today is the medium thick black. Uh, we're going to glue up some tires and see how it goes. Obviously, you've got different ones here for different things as well. Um, they all come with your little um, tiny nozzle adapters, which is good to get into your small little areas. Um, all come with exactly the same things. You've got your stopper to keep your glue um, from drying out, and they also do recommend to keep them in the fridge. And then, obviously, your can of accelerator, which you've got to be quite careful with this stuff because it's apparently quite nasty to breathe in. So, you want to make sure you use this in a nice, airy environment, not sort of in, locked up in your shed. So, let's get some tires out and give them a glue. So these are the tyres from the MN86K that we've just reviewed. I'm sure you would have already seen the video if you haven't already. Make sure you check it out. Um, these are just plain old normal tyres, rims, nothing too fancy. So we're going to glue these up. But, and then we've also got uh, 24 scale wheels here that we've designed and printed up. These are just in an ABS that were vapor smooth. So we're going to give both a try and see how they glue. So let's get this glue out. So these are the tyres here, so we're going to try a different glue on this, we've been sent this stuff, um, we've got a little bit more of a review that we're going to do over the coming months of the different different ones, but this one's the medium thick black, which we haven't actually seen a CA glue that comes in black, which would be perfect for tyres, because I mean some glues, they claim they dry clear, but a lot of them, they can dry around these edges and they can look real cloudy and it looks it looks no good, so in theory this should, stuff should work really good, so let's give it a try. So with any tire, I normally start with the back, sort of, you know, get you into a bit of a groove, rather than messing the front of it. So what I normally do with my tires is I do a couple of small, sort of four corners. Um, this is quite thick, this stuff. Took a little bit to get going. It's time to go through now. Careful not to glue your fingers. Like to go one, keep an eye where the corner is, where it's gone. Go to the opposite corner. And go to another next corner. And then do your final corner, which should be around here. them on the side so you know which one you've done and we'll go around and do the rest of them. So we're going to do these little 24 scale ones now. Having this little fine nozzle is going to really help. Um, once again, same process as I did in the other ones, just I dab it in the four corners. So we move back to these tyres here, I like to just give it a bit of a squeeze to sort of help smooth the glue around the bead. Um, obviously you're seeing we wouldn't have gone right around the edge. We do that as well, but we normally do that on the outside edge. And especially with this glue being black, it'll help a lot too. Um, I've always done it this way, it's just a lot safer than trying to pack the glue in between the bead and the thing. 
Um, if you get a steady hand, you can get quite a nice little bead around here, and you know it's not going to come off. So once you get it started, you can just work your way around there. Right, so we've got these tyres all glued up. Um, they did have a little bit of white you know, residue that builds up. It's sort of a byproduct of super glue. Something to do with the moisture in the air, I believe, from what the company told me. Um, did quite a thick bead on the back, like we always do. Now this one here, I actually used the activator here, and you actually see it sort of done some little weird bubble things, and it's left it quite rough. But it still seems just as strong as the other glue. I just thought I'd try one on the back side to see what it was like. And you can see, sort of a dry brush does remove this stuff. This is the brush I use here. It's just like a nylon bristle brush. Um, it was a lot worse than this to start with, but a sort of acetone is normally what they recommend. But hitting acetone with a ABS tires, I mean rims, not a good idea. So overall, yeah, they've come up good. It probably would have been a lot more clean up if it was a clear glue, especially in this gap. But it's very actually hard to see the glue. Like it's actually a lot glossier than the rim and the tire. So. Overall, I was pretty happy with it. Um, the biggest downside I found with these bottles were these bottles are actually quite firm. So normally I'm used to likes of a bottle here, which is a little bit, they're still firm, but it's a little bit um, easier to push than the likes of the other bottles. So it found it quite hard to sort of control the flow. But they did their job. So, and then these are the little 24 scale ones we've done. They've come up quite nice too. Um, so, overall, pretty good product. Um, I like the fact that there's a black glue out in the market. We've also got the other ones still. We've got to try those and see what these ones are like as well. Uh, we've got a couple of other projects coming up that we're going to test these. We may test these out on some tyres too. Um, ideally, I would have liked this to be a little bit runnier. It's a medium thick, which is sort of quite a thick glue compared to your tyre. Tyre glue is normally very uh, runny, sort of almost like a water, which helps it sort of travel around the beads inside the room so my technique sort of it did work but not as well as it normally does because normally a little my little four squirts in here you push the beads locks and it travels along these edges quite far and then the outer edges just to make sure it's sealed and normally I sort of push the rim back and it sort of lets the glue set back into the bead everyone's got a different method of gluing tires this is how I've done it and that's worked well so if you guys want any more information on this product I've left the link in the description and if you want to, you know, try some out, see what you think. Um, I'm going to run these, you know, see if they ha hold up very well. You know, on a crawl, it's going to be quite demanding on the sidewall, so it'll be interesting to see how it holds up. So, until the next video, have a good one.